Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Dubs12. Just want to talk about today's video, which is going to be about the Chicago Bears franchise and their history. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Alright, here we go. So the Bears franchise, they were first established on September 17th, 1920. The Bears were first called the Staley's because the company that bought them was the Staley Starch Company. Uh, the head representative of the company was George Hallis. Um, some of y'all might know him. George Hallis is the coach with the most wins. Um, Bill Belichick, the head coach of my Patriots, is almost close to beating his record for the most wins. Um, the year after they were established, uh, the owner gave... Uh, Staley, the team, five grand, and the okay to move to Chicago, but they gave him a condition saying that you can move, but you gotta keep our name on the team for a year, and that's what they did. So they moved, they moved to Chicago. They won the ch the league championship um, way before the NFL happened. It was actually called the. Uh, I think it was like Professional Football Association. Um, and then the following year after they won the championship in 1922, they changed their team from the Staley's team to the Chicago Bears. Um, the Bears were one of the first teams to buy or purchase a player from an opponent or another team uh, the player was Ed Healy he played for Rock Island uh, that year then three years later uh, the Bears signed Red Grange uh, and he played in the first uh, Pro Bowl uh, or first huge Pro Bowl um, skip like 60 decades into the future um the bears are very well known for this defense and this year the reason why i bring this up is because so in 1985 the bears defense was was formidable so they won a super bowl that year with that defense and it's very like high standard nowadays compared to what other defenses are so you have the 85 Bears the 2000 Ravens um, I don't know any other defenses that I can recall that are up there but during that year uh, Walter Payton was their leading rusher he was fourth in the league for being the best running back uh, his nickname was Sweetness um, because of how sweet his moves were so like if you were done if you try to tackle him left he went to the right and just moved like he was gliding um that year he also broke jim brown's career rushing record he had that year a total of fourteen thousand and eight hundred and sixty yards uh in his career he also had nine touchdowns that year uh, the Bears defense that year, they were known for giving up, well, allowing a total of 12.4 uh, points per game and allowed a combined total of 10 points in three playoff wins and in the Super Bowl against my Patriots. Uh, that's why I'm wearing the red one because back in the 80s, we still wore this jersey from the 60s to around the 90s um, and they beat my Patriots uh, I think it was like 35 to 10 uh, so, oh there are 30 Bears players in the Hall of Fame um, here are three names that I'll give you uh, one Dick Buckus he played middle linebacker for you guys Mike Dicka he played tight end and was the coach of the 85 Bears and then Brian Erlacher, 
He was a middle linebacker as well. Uh, some of y'all will probably know him from one of Brady's highlights where Brady was rushing and he chewed him and then Erlacher tat went down. Um, but yeah. Another good Bears player was Devin Hester. He wore the jersey number 23. Uh, he was really good for kick return. So he was really quick, so he'd run down straight down the middle and he's just juke and everything. But uh he's been elected a like on the ballot for the Hall of Fame for so many times, but he hasn't gotten in yet. Um so some of the sources I used, I'll post them down in the description box below. But uh, I got my sources from the Chicago Bears uh, Pro Football Hall of Fame, the Sporting Blog, um, the Pro Football Reference.com for Jim Brown, uh, 247Sports.com about the Chicago Bears and Walter Payton, Pro Football Reference for Walter Payton, and Pro Football Hall of Fame for the Chicago Bears. Um, hope y'all enjoy. Let me know if there is anything else I missed or anything else you want going on in the next. This was just like a short summarization of your guys' history. Um, so I'll do another one real soon. Peace.